Hello and welcome to another video of SEO Zoom. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how we can set up the IVR for your free PBX. In previous video, we have discussed how we can set up the firewall and also how we can set up the FQD and the SSL certificate for your free PBX. So in today's video, we're going to talk about IVR and in the next video, we'll be discussing the queues. So let me take you guys to my computer screen. We are in the free PBX dashboard. So first to create an IVR, we'll be going into the IVR section applications and the IVR. All right. So here's I've already created an IVR. This is a demo IVR, but uh, for the recording purposes, I'll be creating another IVR for your understanding. So let's give this name a demo uh, typo demo IVR, and we can save this as uh, the same thing for the description. Right, so announcement. So whenever co customer calls in into your DID, whenever customer connects with your number, then what announcement they will be listening to. So I've already uploaded a recording, which is a demo recording. So they will be listening to a demo recording whenever they dial a number. So you can upload recording according to that. So the next thing is enable the direct dial. In this option, either you can select like the enable if you want your customers uh, whenever they uh, are connected with your DID, whenever they are connected with your number, either they can directly dial the extension. Like if, for example, you have the uh, customer services and they are usually provide the extension to the customers that if you have any query, any questions you can direct dial their extension so if you enable this option so the customer rather than going into the IVR they can direct directly dial the um, extension of that particular customer services rep so if you usually it is disabled so we'll leave this as it as it is so we'll next jump to the most important option like I'm, I'm skipping this most of the option because usually it is pre-configured so you don't need to change anything so return to invalid so when if customer press the uh, option which is not available in your IVR let's suppose if you have selected like if you have given the d digit 1 2 or the option zero in your IVR and customer presses the other option like four five six seven eight or the any other digit which is not prescribed in your IVR so that number will be returning to the invalid so if you select this uh, option invalid yes obviously and and append announcement to invalid is the same thing so we both select this option yes so last uh, so the next thing is we'll jump to the uh, ne next option is return to IVR after VM obviously if customer leaves a voicemail uh, if you have like selected if you have given this option in your IVR if the customer like if customer calls in after the business hours so you will set up the uh, VM like the voicemail obviously will I'll be making that video as well like how you can set up the voicemail in the free PBX so if customer leaves a voicemail where they should go like if they they should go back to the IVR or they should like the call should go hang up, hang up. so we'll select this yes if customer wants to do any other thing they should return to the IVR so here you can select the digits like uh, in your recording either you can select the digit one for the let's suppose the uh, customer services let's suppose the two for the Spanish and uh, zero for the voicemail so here you can give the as much as entries you want and then hit the submit button and your IVR section will be completed so that's all for the today's video how you can set up the IVR the simple and easy setup for the free PBX IVR if you have any question you can comment below in the comment section or you can directly reach me at my email 
at the info at, at seozoom.com even you can drop me a mail or uh, you can follow me on my Instagram page as well so that's all for the IVR videos like I hope you have learned a lot if you have any question or any query you can comment below and you can reach me at my email or you can follow me on my Instagram so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my channel